this is Alex. I'm here with Kevin, and we're going to look over the scissors sweep from the closed guard. And we're going to look at it in two ways. We're going to look at it with the basic version, and then when my partner steps over my bottom leg and blocks my scissors sweep, how I can counter that counter. So when I'm in the closed guard, I'm going to look for a cross collar grip. I have two options. I can bring my hand in super deep. This is going to give me the ability to look for cross strokes as well. Or I can bring my hand a little bit more shallow and bring my index finger right by Kevin's collarbone. What this is going to do is it's going to give me more options to go for loop chokes. So if Kevin's posture is broken, I can look to loop his head and go for loop chokes. So I can look for either of those grips, but I don't want to go below the collarbone. So as soon as I'm here, I'm going to make a, a grip and I'm going to take away the same side sleeve on his arm. I'm going to put my foot onto the floor and I'm going to escape my hip. As I escape my hip, I need to keep this leg nice and high. I don't want to drop this too early because it's going to be too easy for Kevin to step over and to start to pass my guard. So I'm going to keep this, this foot right above his hip line. From here, I'm going to now connect my knee to his chest. I don't want to bring my knee too low on his belly because now I'm going to be carrying a lot of his weight and now I can start to get squashed. So I'm going to have my knee right into his chest. As soon as my knee is in chest, now my foot is going to travel towards the floor. And now I'm going to need to raise his hips. If I try to kick Kevin from here, his weight is on his heels, so it's going to be really difficult. So I need to lift him up. As soon as his, he his hips come off his heels, now Kevin becomes light. I can scissor my legs and make Kevin fall. From here, I'm going to feel like I need to let go of my grips to bring myself up. But I don't want to do that because I want to use these grips later to attack as soon as I get to the mount. So I'm going to use my right heel on his hip to curl and bring myself up. As I'm using that to bring myself up, I'm now going to come into the mount position. From here, notice I have my, my cross collar grip and I have the sleeve. So I can start to punch this across his face and I can start to right away look to go towards my S mount and arm bar attacks. Or I can start to look for my cross collar choke from the top of mount as soon as I land here as well since I already have that grip. All right. So I'm going to start with my cross collar grip and I'm always pulling my, my partner towards myself. If I let my hand be relaxed, it's going to be really easy for Kevin to break this grip. So I'm already pulling in to break his posture and to make it harder for him to posture up and break the grip. I'm going to get a sleeve grip, foot goes onto the floor, I'm going to escape my hip and I'm going to put my knee into his chest. I'm going to slide my foot down, I'm going to pull and as I pull, I'm going to scissor my legs using my heel to bring myself up so that I don't need to let go of my grips. Now I can start to transfer A, or I can start to look over B. From here, as soon as I'm getting ready to go for my attack, it's very easy for Kevin to step over my foot. As soon as he steps over my foot, I can no longer uh, slice at the bottom of his leg. So I need to bring my head away from him so that I can retract my, my left foot. I'm going to bring my head all the way out, and now I'm going to bring my knee into my chest. From here, I'm going to curl my toes, because often I find that when my foot is straight, sometimes it's, it slips off of his foot. So I'm going to curl my toes and I'm going to place it right on his knee. As soon as that's right on his knee, I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to pull him off his, his heels. I'm going to kick it at his knee and I'm going to slice across his hip. From here, I'm going to pull myself with my heel and my arms to bring myself to the top. I'm getting into my position, Kevin steps over. From here, I'm too close to him to take my leg out, so I need to bring my head away from him. Also, since I'm here, Kevin can start to force the top half guard and he can start to force guard passes from here. Exactly. So, I wanna bring my head away from him so that there's distance. Now, I'm gonna be able to take my foot out. As soon as I take it out, I'm gonna curl my toes right above his knee, scissor, and I'm gonna use that to bring myself up right away. And now I can look to attack Kevin from the top.